Hi everyone, it's Karen and I'm here to do a quick setup of my September in my B6 allergy. I'm going to do a flip through of August in the near future. So this is August. I'm planning on using this book for the rest of the rest of this year. So some of my bits and pieces here. I just have some I've done out. And I'm also going to be using my Sterling Ink September kit. So I'll need a couple things out of here. Excuse the sprinkles. These guys I will need. Definitely need the calendar. And I need the day stickers. I'll need those. Oops, and it just slid away. Okay, let's start. And probably put some stickers in as well. I'm going to pop this one in here because I just think that's fun. Oops, my tape. And my tea. I need my tea. So I'm probably going to be adding several tip-ins in here at the beginning of the month. And now I'm one of those strange people that I want, I don't like my weeks, the days split up across the month. So where the first of September falls on a Friday this year, there's some people that like doing theirs where they um, they have their their week all together, regardless of whether it um, see. I need my tea this morning. I'm not awake enough to be doing this. They they tend to put the first three days of September they will have put into the week of August. That, my brain doesn't work that way. So I will have, for example, here I've got my week set up with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday are in August. Then I will do my September setup and I will then incorporate um, those last three days of September. It's just my brain works that way. It just it it just doesn't sit right with me to have have the month split or put a few days of August into September. It works for some people. They love it that way. That's perfect for them. If that's what works for them and keeps them happy, that's fine. It does not work for my brain. And I'm perfectly fine with having a partial week set there. Not just, I don't know, it just doesn't make a difference to me. So I have my little bit of a welcome September page. And I don't really go for a specific theme. It's whatever. <laughs> I'm not that fussed about those kind of details. Then I have my September calendar. 
a little bit wide. Did I trim a bit off August? I think I did. Yeah. I think I will trim just a smidge off here. Some of these I round the corners, some of them I don't bother. I am clearly not a perfectionist. Never have been and quite likely never will be. So one thing I have to pull out of the, the sticker bunch. My page this arrived this time with the there was a little tear in the the bag. Oh well. I want that little guy to put that's why I put it okay. So I didn't finish this. on it. Yeah, so I'm going to line this up because I'm only planning on putting probably four months in here. Where did I start that? Okay. I have the two-page calendar. Okay, so just a hair too wide. Probably come back in here later and add add a little bit more decoration of some sort. Whether I add in some stickers or washi tape. I'm 
probably never going to get these lined up quite right. And this is by calendarcart.com. And these, this was just a page I created myself. This was a page I created myself in Canva. I'm just using the free version. This was a page that doesn't quite show up very good. This is a page that a friend of mine had posted on Facebook. I liked it, so I just printed it out on vellum. This is from my Sterling Ink subscription box. So let's get these down. I frequently have a wrestling match with this stuff. That's going to make me a liar. It's going to work today. Okay, I did put it on the proper side. I have in the past actually put these on the wrong, put the first one on the wrong side. Okay, now. Okay, and then I'm going to come back in in a little bit and I'm going to go back to my future log. There's the word. I'm going to come back to that and I will add in these on, on the dates as they're coming up. And then at each week as I'm doing my weeklies, I will come to this page and I will double check and see what what's coming up for a specific upcoming week. Now the next thing I want to have is this is my little tracker that I use. I call it for my use on my treadmill or treadmill. We just call it a treadmill. And I'm trying to get on the treadmill five times a week. So I want to come back in each week and mark off, cross out the days that I actually use the treadmill. And hopefully that'll help to motivate me to get on the treadmill on a regular basis, so I can get as many, as many of the, get as many of the days as possible crossed off. So let's get this right down here. This is um, a freebie in um, SM Plans in her Facebook group. And I want to put one more. Stumbled across this, um, I don't know, Pinterest or somewhere. I don't remember where.
Now I am ready to start adding in the rest of this week. I'm going to leave this part blank because I want to add in just a few little bits and pieces for things that I want to get done either in September or that I want to get done in a specific week. So the first is a Friday. So these are the two pages from Sterling Inc. And I'm not fussed if it's perfectly straight or whatever. And then Saturday and Sunday. Ah! I have never done that before. Let's see if I can save that. See? Perfection is not, where's my tweezers? Perfection is not a thing I'm worried about. Close enough. <laughs> I'll try to take off Sunday a little bit more carefully. I've never had that happen to me. I've been using these for the better part of a year now. Started the, using these stickers in January. Granted, it's also easier doing this when you're not trying to keep yourself centered underneath the camera. Oh, no, excuses, excuses. Alrighty, so then I'm ready for the rest of the week. I'll mark down I tend to like marking my pages down. Let's see one I have. Let's just look at what we had for the last day. So I'll mark down if I have any specific appointments at a specific time. I will mark that down. Then I will mark down things that I want to get done during the day and see if I get those done or not. So I was going to film my September setup, and edit and upload. That didn't happen yesterday. So that will be happening today, and the video will go up later today. And then I continue adding things as, as I need. I'll go through, and typically when I have the week set up, I will go back and I will look at the calendar. Now this is not going to work as well for this one right now because I haven't filled everything in. But I would come to for a specific week, so for next week I will come and I will look and see if I have anything marked down for that week and then I will add it in for each of those days or for the corresponding day that I have. And if there's certain things I know that I have, like standing things, I know that every Sunday we have Sunday school and church in the morning, every Wednesday evening we have prayer service, Monday and Wednesday I have office hours and specific class time. So things that are time sensitive or specific times I have to be at a certain place for a certain thing, I'll mark that down. But I'll show you this when I'm ready to set up. I will come back and do a quick video where I'm setting up for next week, starting for Monday the 4th. And I will have this filled in. So again, for this, I'm going to go back to my calendar here, or my future log here. 
So I'll mark down on the first, I have a meeting at 10 o'clock. So on, actually a little bit later this morning, um, the 28th to the 30th, mark out that we have a conference a hubby and I are going to for his work. The 13th on the Wednesday from 1220 to 110, I have a Zoom meeting to attend. <clears throat> And I know there's a couple other things that I haven't. I'm going to have to go into my my regular my calendar on my phone, and I'll have to double check my husband's calendar. Because so I think we have a dinner we're going to. Where's that in October? Anyway, there's a few things that are coming up in this month that I have to double check with his calendar and make sure I have it marked down in here, so that it's ready to go onto my days and continue on. And then I'm going to go through my stickers and see what I can do with some of my stickers. I have this one that came on the the package. I don't know if that's going to, it's not going to fit anywhere on here this month. I can always put it on a different page. I can put it on if I have a list of things to get done this month here. I will find a home for it or on my to-do list I'll find somewhere to put that I also want to change these out each month those are stickers where's my little girl oh, there she is these are a few of the other little additional things that came in the the September box or package so I'll replace the ones from August this is the one that came in August and this little girl so I'll put those back in the August package and replace that with my September ones this is, I think this is a sticker but I don't know where I want to put it or if I want to put it anywhere not till it's next year what do I have in here alrighty so there we have the September set up and I'll come back and I'll do a flip through of August soon I'll probably get that once I've finished up a couple details I have to backtrack and fix a couple things and then I will be back to show you a video of that alrighty take care everyone and I will see you again very soon bye now